I just think this is amazing. I mean, this little guy's kind of busted, but pretend that's not there. I'm so excited. I'm feeling so good after filming yesterday. I just edited all the footage from the previous video and I just feel, I feel so much better. I feel like more peace, even though I'm still struggling to figure out what I like to do, what I'm passionate about, what I should be doing with my life. Um, I feel like that's okay now and I've accepted that and that's just how it goes and we're just gonna keep rolling. But I wasn't even gonna film anything today because I didn't really have anything to say until last night. I went to a floral arranging class, which isn't that big of a deal, but oh my gosh, I've been wanting to do that for so long. I've always thought it is just so amazing and beautiful and so much fun. So I went last night and had a class and made a bouquet. Maybe I should go get it. Yeah, I'll go get it. Check this out. I don't know how well you can see it. I put this cute little bow on it and I wrapped this. It's not perfect and it's definitely not technically correct. But look at that. And it's like not, not beautiful or anything. It's not amazing, I know that. But I just had so much fun. It was really hard though. So we went and it was like 20 girls or something. We had like one, I guess like teacher there to help us. She works at like a local flower shop and does arrangements all the time. And so she was just kind of walking around helping everybody, but it was mostly a free for all. And I got there late, so I missed all the instruction. So I was just there trying to figure it out. And it is hard. You have to like hold all the things with one hand, loose enough that you can put more things in, but tight enough that they don't all fall apart or like shift into new directions. And that's like really hard to like play around with height and shape and everything to make it look good. But I had so much fun at creating that. And now look at this, this is amazing. That's one of the coolest parts of life that we can create brand new things. And these flowers, sure, these flowers existed before, but I made them into this. Like I made this and this has never existed before and now it exists because I did that. I've never thought of myself as like the most creative person ever, but I've been thinking a lot about having like creative outlets in my life where I can take a step back from all the menial tasks of life and feel like I can make something good and beautiful in this world. So that was just kind of a spur of the moment thing that I decided to go to and it was amazing and life changing and I just feel so happy now because of it, which is so dumb because it's just a silly flower arrangement. But I think just the thought of creating something brand new and something just for the purpose of being beautiful is amazing. And I love that that's part of our life. I just really wanted to share that. I'm also gonna take a punch needle class. Maybe if I know how to, I will insert some like clips or whatever of what that looks like. I've just been looking for something that I can do to spark some creativity in me. This is so random, but I am left-handed and because of that, apparently, I'm supposed to be more creative. But I've, like I said, never thought of myself as a creative person. I was talking to someone at work the other day and they were saying, well, maybe you've just been trained or brought up to think more analytically. And I was like, what? Maybe I am creative and I've just never really known about it. And I think my brain definitely does work very analytically as well. I feel like for most things, I'm like kind of in the middle. Like I'm not super analytical. I'm also not super creative, but I'm kind of like, in the middle. So I just want to start accessing more of that creative side of my brain and designing, creating, and making new things. I don't know. I just think it's so important to find creative outlets, ways to create things, and to enjoy the beauty of the world. It's just so easy to get so busy and caught up in things and that's how I was feeling. I was just feeling the stress of um, figuring out what to do with my career, what to do with my life, and you just gotta take a second sometimes and step back and think about how amazing and beautiful this world is that we have been given. We have all these amazing, wonderful things that we can use to be creative and to make 
this earth a more happy and beautiful place. And even if it's something as insignificant as a floral arrangement, I think that that did a world of good, at least for me, and hopefully helps anyone else out there who's been feeling a little bit bogged down in life to find a creative outlet and to explore that and just take a break, you know? I think everyone has um, a creative side to them. Some people are maybe a little bit more creative than other, others or just more practiced in their creativity than others. I would encourage everyone to try to find ways to be creative, find what type of creativity you enjoy and to kind of foster an environment where you can grow that talent. Yeah, I just think it's wonderful and I think everyone should look for something to do. I mean, floor arranging is expensive though, so I probably won't be doing that like full time, plus it's hard. And I don't know that much. She did most of the getting that pretty for me. This is another little rambly moment for me, but I'm gonna go to my sister's and we're gonna play with makeup. Hope that everyone can find ways to be creative and to find beauty in their life and spread that with others. Yeah, bye.